know, there's lots of times I've told people that um, I won't let them use the term cheat day when we're talking about their diet. Um, I will let you use reward day because I don't want you to start feeding yourself negative thoughts. Um, cheating has no positive function associated with it. Uh, there is no, you know, oh, they cheated to win and that's awesome. N n nobody says that. Or, oh, they cheated on their significant other and that was great. That's not how cheating works. So if you tell yourself that you're going to cheat on your own diet, you're going to cheat on yourself, that's not a positive thing. If you say, hey, I'm going to have pizza and beer this weekend because I've kept my diet and my exercise really clean all week and I've earned it, knock yourself out. You did. You earned it. You worked for it and you've earned it. It's a reward day. Now, it's not just that. It's everything else that you put in your mind or you let your mouth speak. If you, if you speak negativity, especially about yourself, oh, I'm so stupid or, oh, I'm just not good enough or, you know, I'm so useless, I'm so worthless, you're going to train your brain to believe that. If you tell yourself, I'm working real hard on this and one day I'm going to be great, then your body's going to believe that. If you tell yourself, I can do this, boom, you can one day do it. Now, people always say, oh, that's just silly, blah, blah, blah. The mind is radically more powerful than you're giving it credit for. Look up psychosomatic pregnancy. There are times where women have believed so much that they were pregnant that their belly swelled up like they were nine months pregnant with no baby inside. They looked, they felt, hormones changed, the whole nine yards. You couldn't tell they weren't pregnant until you did an ultrasound and found there was no baby. Their mind did that. I mean, look at PTSD. It destroys people. It makes them do all sorts of crazy things. It was the mind. The mind did that. You can decide how you want to alter the trajectory of your life by changing the way you think and especially the way you talk. You can have thoughts that are not great. Work on that last. Don't let those things come out of your mouth. Because if you start speaking negativity, you will speak negativity into existence with yourself. And I know how silly that sounds, but that's what happens. If you start to say things, even as a joke, you will start to believe them. So say great things about yourself. Say great things about your spouse. Say great things about your children. Find something good to say about them all the time. Find something great to say about yourself. If you can't find anything that you believe that's great now, say that you're working on something. So, man, one day it's going to be great because I'm doing X, Y, and Z. I'm going I'm to lose all the fat because I've changed my diet. I've started exercising. I'm going to get where I want to go. It's going to be great. It's not today. It's not tomorrow, but I'm going to be there because I'm going to, I'm going to do the work and I'm going to earn it. Tell yourself that. Don't just look in the mirror and say, oh, I'm so fat. This isn't working. Hasn't worked yet. I'm not there yet. I'm going to get there. It's just going to take some time. If you change the way you talk to yourself, you will change your life. I, again, I realize how silly that sounds, but it's 100% the fact. So change your life by changing your speech.